Hey, what is up heroes and welcome back to some more Pokemon Ranger. Last episode, we did every single available side quest at the moment, which took a long time because some of the quests were so annoying, but we had to waste some time so that Professor Hastings can, uh, you know, figure out what to do with uh, what's going on. And we're now ready to head back to uh, Irma to report in, done patrolling. Getting really bad because Old True Tower is actually going to be the incredible machine, which is going to be using the uh, Shadow Crystal, which I'm assuming is going to control all the Pokemon, just like the Giga Ramos and the uh, the Mini Ramos. So, Irma, we're done. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Question is, is Professor Hastings ready? Several hours later. Okay, so Professor Hastings, if you would, please. Hmm. Before I outline our operation, you need to know about more about Ultra Tower. Oh man, the music is just... This is terrible. I can't listen to this. It's just, I don't know what it is with the rooftop, but it's just, it's so kind of quiety and just terrible. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> All right, Isaac, please. Yes, sir. The tower is 334 meters tall, which is just shy of 1,100 feet. From the top of the tower, you can see out to all corners of the Olmia region. But it's not an observation deck for Taurus or anything of the sort. It had to be that tall to gain control over every Pokemon in Olmia. Oof. The Shadow Crystal from the Chroma Ruins is set on top of the tower. A strong electrical feed to the crystal unleashes its power. It will gain control over all Pokemon within an approximately 500 mile radius. Wow. The Incredible Machines, I love the name for it as well, Incredible Machines power is equal to uh, roughly 8 million, 8 million Gigaromo units, wow. Halfway up the tower is the centralized control room. It allows control of individual Pokemon with, with unique signals for each one. It also has approximately 300 times more commands than the Mini Remo. Oh wow, this is uh, this is gonna be pretty tough. These facts emerge from Isaac sharing information with us. Combined with our own data, we have a clearer picture of what we're facing. Kincaid has misled Isaac all this time with false promises about the tower. A peaceful project for fostering new means of communication between Pokemon and people, he was told. Not good. So, we came to the question, what is their objective? The answer, we found written in Brighton Hall's diary. Oh, okay. So my son, Blake Hall, having just turned 16, drove me out of the company. His pardon words crushed me. I will eliminate anyone who stands in the way of my world domination. Even my father, just going straight for world domination. That is like, <laughs> straight up the best uh, evil motive, just world domination. My son has become the main character in this nightmare. The nightmare woven by the Shadow Crystal. That is as far as we've been able to decipher. World domination. <laughs> the Incredible Machine can control uh, tr control all the Pokemon in Olmia, supposedly. If that's so, world domination doesn't sound all that far-fetched. <laughs> this is terrifying news. Oh. What was that noise? They must have run the power to the Incredible Machine as a test. They only turned it on for an instant to monitor its operation. Judging by the noise just now, however, the test was a failure. That's good. I imagine they haven't been able to do the final adjustments to the program. That's because I was supposed to do them. However, even if the, even if the final adjustments aren't made, the tower will still operate. Its power will be reduced to about half, but it will work. That's how the incredible machine was designed. Hmm, pretty smart, hmm. Even a half power can wreak havoc far and wide. All right, everyone, look sharp. Let me announce our plan. I've got like cool epic music playing. No, we still have that terrible chime. Like, this is where, like, a big speech is coming in. We need, like, some epic music. Extensive analysis of the blueprint uh, makes one thing abundantly clear. It is virtually impossible to shut off the tower's electrical circuits. That leaves us with one option. We must do something about the shadow crystal itself atop the tower. However, infiltrating the tower will be an undertaking at a fraught with danger. This, we really need some, like, epic music here. What then can we do? There remains but one course of action. Mount an assault on the tower from the outside. Do you recall how the three pennants shone on the rooftop? And how they turned the dark shard completely transparent? That is what we will attempt on the top of the tower. For that, ideally, we should have the red, blue, and yellow gems together. With only the two we have, however, we should severely weaken the tower's power. Its output should be cut by nearly 70% if we succeed. All right, Professor. How do we get the two gems of the Shadow Crystal atop All True Tower? Are you suggesting we should just get my Star Raptor's help? Precisely. You will live up to your nickname, the Flying Ranger. 
Two top rangers are to each rider star raptor, carrying the blue or red gem. They are to circle the tower and draw closer and closer to the shadow crystal. Me and Keith, I'm guessing. The closer they get, the greater the gem's effect on the shadow crystal. Of course, that also increasingly exposes the top rangers to danger. For this important mission, I would like to call upon the best of our top rangers. The two that have learned to take pride in. Oh. The two top rangers are, it's me and Keith. Oh, Sven and Wendy. Now you're talking. I've been longing for a mission like this. You can count on me. Flying is what I'm especially good at. Faulty and Keith, you are to remain on standby at the Union. Oh, come on, that's boring. There's no telling what might happen. So we want you here. Does that displease you? Yes, it does. <laughs> we area rangers will concentrate on addressing the concerns of citizens. That's what I hope to hear, Barlow. You're entrusted with that task. Finally, we need a name for our operation. We shall borrow the name of the writer of that charred diary. We shall call it Operation Brighton. Alright everyone, let Operation Brighton commence. Yes sir. Oh man, it's terrible. I want to do something. Oh, at least the chiming stopped. It's the, it's the crystals, the gems that are making the chimes that look like... Doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. I have faith that you will all be safe. Hope you guys fail so me and Keith can do it. Mind the union while we're gone. We're reporting regular. Okay, good. Definitely not jealous at all. So, we just just chill here? Probably feel left out, don't you? I do. Well, you should consider it from our perspective. Kind of everyone dashing off towards the key objective. If that were to happen, this wouldn't be an operation. It would become nothing more than a race among our top rangers. You most definitely get opportunities to demonstrate your worth. Till then, I ask you two to help keep the, uni the union from harm. Can you imagine you just go downstairs, you just watch a cutscene. Wendy and um, Sven just stop the shadow crystal. Game over. Just game finishes. Oh, that'd be just terrible, but kind of funny at the same time. I actually wouldn't be that funny. I'd just be really disappointed. <laughs> Alright, so I'm... Oh. Hey, Murph, what up? B -b 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 big trouble! The ground floor's doors were blown apart by a wicked explosion. Some big sinister guy came in. Uh, I'm gonna tell the others. Alright, I got this. Do not worry, my man. Do not worry. Oh, it's uh, Heath. Wh who are you? Do you have an appointment? Who am I? Do I have an appointment? Think I'm caring about that? What? You're the receptionist, not Rangers. No use for you. I have none. Yo, what up, big guy? Well, look uh, look what we have here. Is this not Volty? You are remembering me, yes. You are. We was meeting only one day ago. It's me, Heath. Send you fake vice mail. <laughs> that yellow gem you give me is give me nicely as big present. I hate the way he speaks, man. We is hiding it away. Very, very careful. Like, where can it be? In tower somewhere. Ha ha ha. Okay. Oh, what's he summoning? What you got, man? What you got? Oh, I'll let you fire. Okay. Now then, time is it for having fun times. All right. Electrify, I'm down for this. I'm gonna put this armrest down so I can get a bit higher actually, so I can get a good angle. I was not expecting a boss battle. I'm kind of glad I stayed now. This is fun. All right. Shield on. Let's do some work. Oh. I don't know how I'm gonna do work with this. Do you have to wait for it to, uh, Stop using that stupid electric attack. Okay, here we go. Yeah, shield on just too OP, man. Way too OP. Just stop him doing his attacks. It's just, it's just great. So good. Oh, look at that XP! 4,000 XP! Wow! More, please? More electrifiers! I'm just gonna fight them all the time, man! Maybe we uh, maybe get careless too much, me? Oh. 
I mean, what was that? That came from upstairs. Ha <laughs> ha It is going like we plan. Our plan. For you good, I did I did do. Hey, I was play at decoying. Uh oh. For you. Two upstairs, going is too late. Oh. Alright, let's go. Okay, protect Ranger Union HQ. Okay, I'm coming. Actually, crazy, man. Oh, snap. Not letting you take Isaac. Okay. Ice. I'm guessing the top will be Lavana. Make sure the recording's all going good. Yeah, we're, we're good. Ice. Never going back to Old Tree. Hey, that dab. <laughs> ah, Professor Isaac, weren't we once colleagues who worked alongside each other? Why, I learned how to operate software from you. Didn't I also share my candies with you? I think Ice is one of the coolest characters in this game, man. You tricked me. Something that was for the uh, good of society and peace. It was completely the other way around. I was lied to, over and over. Never going back there again. Honestly, I wouldn't know or care much about peace among Pokemon. I do know that people will be able to live easier than now. Do you understand that we are very, we are a very peace-oriented organization? We're not buying that. You blast a hole in the Union's HQ wall, and yet you claim to be peaceful? That's stretching the truth beyond the breaking point. We'll have you lot, we'll have your lot pay for the damage. Not having much success, are we? Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh, who's? Oh, that's um Isaac's sister. Hello, in matters in a matter befitting a gentleman takes time, my dear. So drop the gentlemanly act and do it in a dirty, despicable way, like this, for instance. Isaac, help me. Melody, where are you going with her? Hello, mushroom head Isaac. <laughs> we need the. <laughs> I just love mushroom hair. We need the uh, uh, architect of the incredible machine to make the final adjustments. You'll come with us, won't you? Don't have much choice, sweetie. You see what's going on? I don't have to spell it out for you, do I? How about a little demonstration instead? A little pinch for Melody. Ouch, that hurt! That's dirty, you hag. Hag? Did you just call me a hag? You jumped up mouthpiece of a little boy? You're gonna regret that. Okay, that did it. Now I'm steamed. Isaac, decide. Are you coming or staying? This time, your precious sister's gonna get more than a pinch. Ooh. Okay, I'll go back. Isaac. Not much you can do, really, is it? The hurt Melody because of me. Ugh. That settles that. We're done with this place. Guessing Levana and Ice might leave us a little, like, uh, you know, leaving prison. Oh, Ice is staying. What the? Was I even needed for this Union raid? Levana swept in and stole the show for herself. <laughs> Oh, yep, got a fight. Man, I love his dabs. That's so good. <laughs> oh, Garchomp, yes! I went to battle with Garchomp ever since I thought it was going to be a gem guardian. So, what should I do now? Just going home sounds lame. May as, well, may as well amuse myself. Oh, dude, I love Ice. Can Ice just be good? <laughs> Ice is best character, 100%. Alright, here we go. Garchomp time. Right, I am going to shield on a hundred percent. Oh, you go so fast. Okay. Him a little bit to uh Can okay, I go? Man, my arm is just like, whew, damn, that was fun, oh wow, crush five. Look at that XP, and we just grew a level. Power plus five, energy plus two, level 36, nice. Oh, sweet Jesus. Well, not too shabby. I see why you're a top ranger. We'll have a rematch if we see each other at tomorrow's event. 
Until then, farewell. Ah, oh, he's so cool. Professor Hastings, gonna get those clowns. No, I absolutely forbid that. Chasing headlong after them plays right into their hands. There is still time before midnight, when Ultru's birthday arrives. It gives us time to rethink our operation. Hey, oh, yeah, yeah, more trouble. There's a creepy guy on the third floor. Faulty, hurry to the third floor. Wait, who could it be? Kincaid? We've had the free, um, the sinus trio. The only person I can think of is Kincaid. Oh, Bidoof's. Now, boss's uh, grand oil scheme? The union is an inconvenience. I'm here to remove that eyesore. <laughs> oh. Just a bunch of Bidoof's. Who is this guy? What does he want here? Are you a clown or something? <laughs> this floor is off limits to everyone, but those associated with the union. What is the meaning of this? <laughs> what is the meaning of this? What, what about, I demand an answer? <laughs> Faulty, do something about this creep. Oh. Ah, Ranger. I brought you some friends. We have eight Bidoofs. This is going to be the toughest battle of our lives, man. Eight gods. We have to defeat eight gods in a single fight. This is going to be tough. Oh my god, that was so difficult. Oh, man, don't ever let me do that again. I don't think I'm ever, I am ever I could do that again. That was just pure luck, 100%. I took down a god somehow. Took down eight gods. Whew. Wow. <laughs> woo -hee, woo -hee, woo -hee. <laughs> Yikes. Mr. Wheeler? We've already achieved the objectives of our Union Raid. We should pull out. Aye. I failed to notice that. I suppose this will suffice for today. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, snap, just blew up the stairs. We good? Don't bother chasing them. Need to rethink our operation. Okie dokie. The top priority for Operation Bryden will be shifted. For everything else, Isaac and Melody must be rescued. Incidentally, Faulty and Keith, despite being taken by surprise, you protected the Union HQ. That's worthy of a mission clear. Can I have a Ranger rank for that? Because that was like three boss battles in a row, and one of them was extremely difficult. Hey, Ranger rank up! What do I get? Come on, line length. Just want that last little bit of line length. That's all I want. Uh, okay, what do I get? Okay, I mean, that's, that's still cool. But I want the line length. That's like the best thing. I'm concerned about Isaac's safety. No, oh, Professor Hastings. Sven is reporting in. They threw up a powerful barrier on top of the tower. Worse, the barrier is three layers. It's impossible for us to get close to the shadow crystal from the sky. I didn't expect things to go to go easily. They must have kept it out of their uh, blueprints for precisely this reason. How to eliminate that barrier? I can't think of a good approach. Professor Hastings, surely you haven't forgotten about that Union has two other top rangers? No, 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 of course I've not forgotten. But though they are top rangers, they simply lack experience. As evidence, have a look at their expressions. Oh man, I'm ready for this. I'm well, ex I'm well pumped. They're both glaring at me with determination in their eyes. Exactly. Since when did either of you grow to be so... so capable and confident? Fine, I understand now. I must have been blind. No more treating you two like rookies, I promise. Keith and Volty, I'm assigning you a mission truly worthy of top rangers. Sweet. Alright, listen closely. Number one. You are to infiltrate Old True Tower and rescue Isaac and Melody. Number two. You are to locate and get back the yellow gem. Three, Keith is to take a Star Raptor and fly the yellow gem to above the tower. You are to join up with Sven and Wendy, Keith. Faulty, you are to remain in the tower by yourself. You are assigned the key role in Operation Brighton. <laughs> and your face, Keith. You are to, to make your way to the tower while disabling the three barrier layers. After lifting the barrier, guide the three flying rangers to the Shadow Crystal. It goes without saying that you will be faced with many foes on the way. It's a harrowing challenge, an ultimately rewarding mission. Why, my lips are trembling even as I issue these very commands. Send a Wendy in the sky. Our dedicated operators. 
the research staff that forego sleep to decipher the diary, Murphy is happy cheer. Everyone has their own responsibilities, duties, their own purpose of being. Everyone is supported by each other. We all need each other. If no one forgets this operation, Brighton can't fail. Alright people, Operation Brighton Part 2, let us restart. Alright, I'm ready. I'm so ready for this. Oh, it just keeps going to come with me. <laughs> Keep you in your face, you got the worst part of the mission. I got the fun stuff. 100%. Alright, but I think we will take the uh, assault onto Ultra Tower next time. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. I'll catch you then. Peace.